Welcome back. Thanks for joining us here on Live Now from Fox. I'm Lexi Petrovich. We are following some breaking news out of the Middle East right now, and it is some very sad news. Three U.S. service members have been killed and 25 others injured in a drone attack that happened in Jordan. Let's pull up a couple of these statements that are coming in right now. First, with Fox's Trey Yingst saying that three U.S. service members have been killed, 25 others injured, and also showing how much things have escalated in the Middle East. And this is an example of just that. We're also hearing from President Biden, who just released a statement confirming this news. And here is what he had to say. Today, America's heart is heavy. Last night, three U.S. service members were killed and many wounded during an unmanned aerial drone attack on our forces stationed in northeast Jordan near the Syria border. While we're still gathering the facts of this attack, we know it was carried out by radical Iran-backed militant groups operating in Syria and Iraq. Jill and I join the families and friends of our fallen and Americans across the country in grieving the loss of these warriors in this despicable and wholly unjust attack. These service members embody the very best of our nation, unwavering in their bravery, unflinching in their duty, unbending in their commitment to our country, risking their own safety for the safety of their fellow Americans and our allies and partners with whom we stand in the fight against terrorism. It's a fight we will not seize. The three American service members were lost, who were lost were patriots in the highest sense and their ultimate sacrifice will never be forgotten by our nation. Together we will carry and keep the sacred obligation we bear to their families. We will strive to be worthy of their honor and value we will continue and carry on their commitment to fight terrorism and have no doubt we will hold all of those responsible to account at a time and a manner of our choosing. So we are working to get more information here, but President Biden has confirmed this news. The U.S. Central Command as well confirming this today that three U.S. service members were killed and 25 others injured in an attack in Jordan near the Syria border. We are working to get more information here. Of course, we'll continue to keep you updated on this tragic breaking news out of the Middle East. In the meantime, we want to continue on here with more of today's top stories and headlines. Live picture here at the White House. President Biden, as he just released that statement, he was in South Carolina this morning attending a church service in Columbia. And of course, the race for 2024 is continuing to heat up. We see Biden in South Carolina pushing for his reelection campaign.